Hello friends. Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to the randomizer. Let's see what this shop has. Oh, this is a department store. This is several shops. This is good for me. Okay, this must be the four side department store. Well, the Horn of Life can revive people, but it costs quite a bit. There are cheaper items that can revive people. It would be nice to get Monty a better fry pan. It would also be nice to get everyone a silver bracelet. There's got to be an ATM in here somewhere, and I probably have a pretty decent amount of money in the bank. Hey, it's this sprite again. Platinum band. That's probably going to be... What? That's not very good customer service. I'm going to complain to your manager. Bobbies. Bobbies don't know how to use elevators. Oh, that's good. I can just sort of... Oh, never mind. I'm sorry, cutesy blobby. Can I just smash these things? That would be nice. Monty can't. Monty needs a better weapon. Which, if I have some money in the bank, I can acquire a better weapon for Monty. Alright, there are like a ton of monsters milling around up here. I don't like it. I just want to go shopping. Are these bats? Oh, this dog. This dog is bad news. I'm going to freeze beta this dog. Alright, that might have been slightly overkill. But Monty has the magic points for it. Nice. 10 hit points. Ooh, fire beta. That's good to have. I think this is all healing or, or status ailment improvement items. What is this sprite? Oh, this is the Summer's Department Store. Well, actually I, I don't know because the dialogue is shuffled. It's one of the department stores. But there should be an ATM and a phone here on the first floor. Well, down on the first floor. So this is the item that can give someone a, a huge temporary boost to guts, but it costs $500. But later in the game, it might be a good idea to, to get some of these and have Ness, have Ness use the Casey Bat, since I believe that'll, that'll basically negate the, the poor accuracy of the bat. Diamond band. Oh, and more more fry pans I can't afford. Alright, unfortunately, I think my first priority for for buying stuff is gonna have to be reviving my party. Unless one of these doors leads to a sanctuary, which I haven't Oh. Never mind. Instant re revitalizing device. And just like that. Parties back and forth. Okay, so this is this is the breed department store. Because it has that temporary temporarily closed message. 
and I think you have to defeat the boss of of the area that three is in before you can come here. But luckily, that doesn't apply to the randomizer. All right, let's see how much money I have. Four thousand. All right, I'm going to withdraw everything and go on a, a minor shopping spree. It's not as much of a shopping spree as I would like, but uh. It'll be good for me. So this is great because I have a safe spot in a department store right next to a full revive spot. So this is like perfect for me. Very excited about it. Also I think I can sell stuff to this guy. Yeah. I, I have some stuff to sell. Um, baseball cap, nine dollars. Whatever. Holmes hat, twenty-nine dollars. Whatever. Ooh, that's actually not bad. N Ness's inventory is just full of crap. I don't need that. It would be so nice if you could just sell multiple items. And I know that's asking a lot for, for a hack as far as quality of life improvements go. And this hack already has quite a few of those. Also, I need to... To find out what happens when you when you use the toothbrush, as soon as I get like uh, a non-dangerous random encounter, I'll try it. Surprised that I never sold that cracked bat. That everything. I believe so. All right, now that I have some money, let's take a closer look at some of these items. Well, this is a disturbing tableau. Mario, don't look. Close your eyes. Where does this go? This is. Oh, that's. That's full of monsters. Let's not go there just yet. So... French fry pan... ...is the best thing that you sell. You sell silver bracelets. Equipment is my, my first priority. If I have any money left after buying equipment, I might buy some, uh, some revive items or some sud sudden guts pills. I don't think it's going to happen though. All right, you sell silver bracelets, also the French fry pan. I'm pretty sure that's the best item I can get for for Monty right now, but let's just double check. Yeah, platinum. I I can't even afford one. Platinum band. Too rich for my blood. Oh, are they running from me? No. I'm running from them. And I failed. That thing drained my magic. That thing started laughing hysterically. Toothbrush. Ow. Oh, that does that doesn't work. Ow. The brightness of Nessa's teeth made the enemy scared. Okay. 
Um, fire. I can be pretty pretty cavalier with my magic points because uh, there's a, a full revive right over there, so I don't have to play super carefully right now. Okay, that worked well. Bunch of ones. Of course, I don't want a full party wipe because I would I would lose like twenty four hundred dollars. So I I do have to be a little careful about that. Okay, you don't sell anything I need. Did I go through this door? Oh, another sanctuary. So I have two full revive spots directly adjacent to this department store. I will. Alright, thank you walkie-talkie. Oh, so many monsters on this, this top floor. Saved by the escalator. Screw you. Alright, buy that french fry pan for Monty. 42 to 92. That's an increase. Yes, please buy this fry pan. Alright. Uh... So I think a silver bracelet for all three characters who, who will get use out of it. Thirty to forty. Not a huge boost, but Mario needs whatever he can get. Alright, I have 1300, which isn't enough for a Horn of Life. I mean, it would be nice to have a portable revive item. Eventually, Question Mark will learn Healing Gamma, which can revive an unconscious party member. Alright, I think I, I lied about the sudden guts pill. I think I would rather hang on to my money. Alright, let's put this uh, let's put this money back in the ATM. Because I, th I think I'm done shopping for now. And let's save again. Deposit. Save a save hundred bucks. So I have a little walking around money just in case I need it for like pay phones and whatnot. Alright, so I have several options as to where I, where I can explore next. Oh, there's also a phone here. Alright, so this is another part of Onet. Normally, this house is, is where you find the first exit mouse. Scorpions. Oh, scorpions are bad news. Homeless UFO? That's sad. And a regal scorp. Alright, these enemies might be tough. Uh try a Psy Beta, or Freeze Beta, on the on the Flying Saucer. No? They do not care about- Ow! They do not care about ice damage. Ow. Oh, 
fire damage. Yeah, magic's not very useful against the, the UFO. Hamburger. Alright, well that sucked. Put yourself back together, Ness. Better than a full night's sleep. Treasure. Bag of fries. No thanks. Okay, I've thrown away all my garbage. Oh, this is uh, an exit mouse room. So, currently my, my exit mouse is set to the Volcano Sanctuary, which I, I should really use the exit mouse uh, in the science lab with the revi revitalizing device. Because that is like the, the perfect location to set up a base. At least for now. Pretty whatever level for Monty. Stay away. Oh. Uh, or don't. It's all good. So neither fire nor ice really worked on these UFOs. See how they like lasers. And possibly thunder. Yeah, got a hit. Okay, good. Good deal. I'm done with eggs. I am past the point of being interested in eggs. I guess that means I've grown up. Oop, I did not mean to use you again. Now I'm double re revitalized. Alright. Yeah, use the exit mouse here. Yeah, there's a, there's a phone so I can save. It's right next to a store where I can buy revive items. That is just a good-ass location. This is not a good ass location. Uh, I think the Muck Youth is vulnerable to ice. I don't remember. A lot to keep track of in this game. <gasps> oh no! Mario is possessed by by a mini ghost. That's something that I can't take care of myself. I need to go to a hospital and speak with a healer. And these things keep dodging me. Come on. Wow. This thing must be super agile. So while one of your party members is haunted, great, stag beetle, while one of your party members is haunted during battle, it will occasionally do a little bit of damage to one of your party members, which isn't that big a deal, it's like one or two, but what is a big deal is that it will freeze your party members. 
and they won't get to act for a turn randomly, which sucks. Oh good, the cultist is, is afraid of me. Good deal. Actually, sorry. I think the revitalizing device will will cure the haunting status. Though, I could have used my mouse to get back there. I, I want to take take care of the haunting before another battle. Yeah, I could have used my mouse to come back here because I'm immediately going to have a chance to get another one. Yep, ghost gone. Ghost be gone. So no no need to go to a healer. Okay, now I'll fight some ants. I'm not haunted by a ghost. So I can fight some ants. As the old story goes. The Optic Formid. They are now formicating in the great beyond. Bobbies! I like Bobbies. Perfect music for exploring some dark, mysterious caves. Bobbies like to attack in very large groups. Fortunately, they are not very good at combat, though they are a good source of experience points and probably money too. I, I never actually know how much money different monsters give because it doesn't tell you and you only find out how much money you have as sort of an agglomeration when you uh, when you do go back to an ATM. So I should definitely be able to hit at least two of these, well, hopefully two of these with, with both thunderbolts. Or, or one with each thunderbolt since there are six of them. I think the odds are in my favor. These blobbies are unusually aggressive for this enemy type. Nice. They're tough little critters. I'll give them that. Yeah, they waste a lot of turns being absent-minded, and they, they try to use magic that doesn't work. And then if they survive for a few turns, I think they become better at magic. Decent experience. Paralysis Omega, that's, that's nice. Ten hit points. That was pretty good. Holy crap! Five magnet omega. What? What's question marks ma maximum HP now? Hundred and eighty. And level twenty four. Wow. Not a fan of these cramped corridors where it's impossible to, to avoid enemies. Now let's use a fire beta on this back row and just try to try to wear down this front row with attacks and a freeze spell. Nice. Okay, the fire might be a bit overkill. Uh, 
silently walks away. Oh, th I think this is a boss spot. At the, at the top of this cliff. Yes, it is. Alright, well, I will try to explore that other direction first. It's a lot harder to walk away and make an enemies despawn in the randomizer. I should I should heal Mario at some point. Like that that's a tactic in Earthbound, particularly among like speedrunners. But the randomizer I I think I think intentionally makes it a little bit more difficult. Alright, Mario's feeling better. More bugs. Eh. I don't need to use magic. Except, except with question mark because they can't do anything else. <gasps> My defense. Oh. Yeah, question mark's defense is already basically zero. So makes sense that that wouldn't work. Pressure. Bean Brocat. Not excited by that. My Fobbies. I'm sorry, Blobbies. Nope. Ouch. The Blobbies like to go after... Question mark, it seems. Alright, do I want to try to take on the boss now? I think so. If I get wiped out, it will be very easy to get my strength back and make it back here. So hopefully I can end this episode with uh, another boss kill. That would be nice. I should have made sure everyone was healed first. I don't think anyone's too badly damaged. Mrs. Nozzle. So this enemy has an attack that does, I think, fire damage to everyone. But it's not a spell, it's not Psy. So, so Psy shield doesn't matter. I'm going to use a turn to spy on it and see what what it's weak to. I'm going to use the defense spray on question mark and question mark is going to use shield sigma which protects you from physical damage which this thing's attack right it counts down to it Very high defense. Somewhat vulnerable to fire. Not vulnerable to freeze. 50-50. Ooh. Okay, I know what I'm doing next turn. <laughs> it's cheesy, but... Cheesing is what you do in a randomizer. Sometimes. Uh, so it's n it's strong against freeze. Question mark doesn't have fire. Um, just defend. I'm sorry, Mrs. Nozzle. <gasps> Question mark turned into Mrs. Nozzle. Okay. I thought that thing would have way more hit points. Yeah, so the experience for that boss 
was not even as good as many of the random encounters. Ooh. Crappy level. Alright, well that is level 3 of the books. Awesome. Say goodbye to Johnny Be Good. And say hello to... Some pretty cool music. Also some pretty loud music. I'm gonna have to check the volume levels and I, I might adjust between this video and the next. Uh, but that'll, that'll do it for today's episode. Thank you for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Good night.